Hey guys, are you totally psyched for the sleepover tonight? Oh yeah! Yeah! Let's do this thing! Well, sorry, but it's not for another hour. I guess you guys will just have to go home. Later. Uh -huh. So then, are you guys still totally such a sleepover? Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Well then, I guess it's about time for us to begin our sleepover. Now, come on in. Finally, now I can throw the bike down in excitement. Yeah! Don't let anybody in the house. What are we gonna do? Give the whole house to ourselves. Let's have some fun! We can tell some scary stories. We can watch... Never mind. <laughs> and that's where babies come from. Oh, oh, good story. But I have a better one. So, one time, a long time ago, in a galaxy that's not very far away considering where we live in it, millions of years ago, when this house was first built, my family moved here. About ten years ago, I was like, here. And I met these buddies named Plussel, and actually this one's Plussel, and Minu, and we became the best of friends. But I didn't know how the, they got here. And it was clear that the people who lived here before us didn't leave up here. Because, well, why would they take them along, honestly? So I decided to investigate how these buddies got here. And that is how I decided to be a famous detective. Yeah! Your, uh, your house is seriously a million years old? Yeah, that's, seriously. That's like over 9,000. It is I mean, over 9,000. I know. I'm sure. Yeah, anyone else got any good stories? Well, not really. What about you? Okay. Uh, once upon a time, there was this guy who was making up a scary story. And he did. And it was really scary. And everyone died. At the end. Oh, I think I should investigate that. I'm feeling kind of nervous. Yeah, what did your dad bring you home again? again? Yesterday. That's like a long time from now. <laughs> I know, isn't it? Now, I've got a really scary story to tell you guys. Mm. And it's a true story, or so they say. So, about the time this house was built, there was this guy, and his name was Mr. Johann von Gustav III. And he's not related to Johann von Gustav VII, who was a cat. But anyway. Well, you know Johann von Gustav III was going to Santa Claus's hideout. Which, <laughs> as everybody knows, is nowhere near here. It's at the North Pole. But he didn't really? know that. Oh. He thought it was in the oven. With a chicken. <laughs> that was like... Roasting for Thanksgiving dinner. Man, he was an idiot. But then, just as he went in the oven, his face burned up. And to this day, he wears a paper mask and curses my family for leaving the oven on. And he swears to come back to this house one day and destroy this family and muscle and minute. But I don't really care about the rest of the family. I think I can prove my close little mind. So I'd better keep them safe. And to this very day, this incident has intrigued me and led me to become the great detective that I am. Yeah. I'm well, a detective. Sarah did detect about it. Always. <laughs> well, that's, that's a made-up story, right? Yeah, no. you just made that up. <laughs> it's a legend that's been passed down from... Russell and mine for all of these years. They told me it when we first got They here. made it out. They made it Dude. out. It's not true. There's no paper face, man. Christmas 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 Christmas. Christmas. I love my blue and mine. Watch out there.
the amount of paper faces. This is really scary. Did you hear something? No, it's no, it's just the wind. Guy. What? What? Who is it? I'm the pizza guy. The pizza guy? Yeah, let me in. We didn't order any pizza. It's free on the house. He said he wasn't wearing a mask, so he's obviously not some bad guy. Wait, he said it's free on the house. Wait, where are we? Open the door. Pizza no. guys don't live in houses. Oh my god. Huh. Oh. Where? Where is he? I don't. Wait, the back. Wait, th I could have sworn I heard the back door slam. He's the guy, we can't see you, so just let yourself in. Okay? Oh, but this is, this is... Leave your pizza on the door and table. Uh, Yay, thank you. Uh, okay. Free pizza. That's pretty yeah. nice. Wait. Well, where is it? <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we should just stay here. Something's yeah. fishy. He said it was on the house, but everybody knows that pizza factories aren't houses, or pizza shops, pizzerias, that's what it's called. They aren't houses. Usually they're buildings and restaurants, and definitely not houses. Definitely. What was that? Was that a I didn't see anything. Yeah. Nope, nothing, nothing at all. Do you just hear your, something? Just your stupid imagination. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Uh, so I think something got upstairs. I'll go check. I'll go check. Just to prove to you that it is not anything. That's just a story, man. Just a story. Okay? Uh. You're right. Okay, you better take a, a weapon with you. Like, uh. Everyone knows ninjas use nunchucks, so if you use the, the Wii one, you should be alright. Okay. Okay, guys. I'll be right back. And if I don't come back, it's because I I got really tired and I was too lazy to come back down. I fell asleep. Okay. So. Okay. Whoever's not up there, I'm coming up. Something suspicious. I know. I'll be back. Why would the pizza man still be here unless he's delivering the pizza to upstairs, which I have no idea why he would do. There's no one up here. No one at all. Any monsters? There's no one in here. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's fine. Oh my god! Did, did, did you hear that? Well, again, again I'm not sure he's fine. This looks like a job. Or a detective like me. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Come on. Come on, Plusel. It's kind of dark up there. Ah. You go first. Okay. I'm going to Peter and Pokemon. Oh, He's dead. I think. <laughs> he is dead. Hey, what's that sound? 